Radar reacts. The Xbox One is coming out this November for four hundred and ninety nine dollars. I'm Hollander Cooper. Here with me is Tom Magrino. Ryan Telchik. So let's just go right into that. Yeah. That's a solid hundred bucks more than I expected. Ouch. I mean, I, so go ahead. I can't help but think of six hundred launch, launch price. All of you're still eating ramen. Because <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, I feel like it's uh, it's actually less inflation and sure. all that kind of thing. Like five hundred dollars seems pretty reasonable to me. We'll obviously be getting a price cut at some point soon. Yeah, and a mention of yeah. a second SKU that you get for a lot cheaper, but then you have to commit yeah, we to a contract. We like didn't an Xbox which is still a potential plan thing. thing. Yeah, it could. Totally I mean, the only other SKU of the Xbox 360, which right. is in stores today. Cool. For some right. reason. Right. Right. the new Xbox today. And the other thing, we might get that subscription thing. Being sure. Yeah, the, that's a Sony you know, thing. So this considering the, the Wii U just came out at 350 and everything I've seen from the Xbox is that it's infinitely better than the Wii U, I don't think 500 bucks is It's that not a surprising price, price point considering uh, what it's got in it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll be really curious to see what Sony says <laughs> about yeah. their pricing now because their machine is more expensive to make. Yes. So... We'll see. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> so but but at least finally they did give us some reasons to be excited for the Xbox they, One. Yeah. They showed off yeah, yeah, a yeah. new Halo. So let's yeah, so which we thought may have been a journey game at first. <laughs> That's true. The trailer, <laughs> as opposed to the Xbox One reveal, this time they trot out the games yeah. as expected. They're like, basically. you know what? Let's maybe. Just, you know, this is a gaming thing we, today. We've proven that this thing is a next-gen system. TV now, sports, TV games. sports. No, and I was really, uh, really pleased to see too, the, like the way that they mentioned some of the applications that they, other features that they wanted to show. Yeah, they yeah, just yeah. smoothly slid it into a game and showed how it will function with your games, which is exactly how they probably should have yeah. done that to begin with. Yeah, totally. All right, so Halo, Halo. Yeah, so Halo. Uh, we thought it was Journey at first. It is because it's a guy in a cloak walking around. Then we thought it was Destiny, then we right? It was Destiny. Yep. And then I made a joke about it being Master Chief in that cloak, and, and everyone groaned. At me. Yeah. Yeah, really. and and all of a sudden, uh, big wind, boom! <laughs> Master Chief. Master Chief. <laughs> what was the deal with those dog tags? What is Master Chief? He was whose dog tags could those possibly be? Uh, Riley from Call of Duty. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> um, so new Halo coming out next year. Next year, mm -hmm. 2014. They aren't they aren't committing to Halo 5, which to me. Yeah. That says to me that it's not going to be called Halo 5. I, I mean, that's, if they were going to call it Halo yeah. 5, they, it you, wouldn't be a surprise. You got to get away from that naming convention yeah. pretty soon. Like the number is just like, all right, Halo 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, is yeah. Done. They're just going to Halo a new beginning or yeah. something like that. Combat evolved it. Did. Right. Um, yeah. So new Halo. All right. Uh, 2014. Uh, Killer Instinct, which kind of goes into what you said, <laughs> because they they seamlessly showed off. They showed off Rare's yeah. making a Killer Instinct, which, by the way, you I was shocked by Killer Instinct just because they they took out a Mad Cat's fight stick. Fight stick. Right. I expected connect controls. I expected some kind of like, what's up? We're uh, doing this. But I think it's... you guys are a lot more excited about this. <laughs> certainly I am. No, I mean, yeah. It looks like a Street Fighter. Lucas well, was pretty much losing his mind. But no, here, but, here, but I bring it. I bring up that because they showed off directly how they can hit a button in the game, and now you're streaming Killer Instinct to go. Twitch. Twitch. Yeah. Not, yeah. Which we, and there was like the we, chat was, box it was pretty yeah. obvious. Yeah, it was kind of obvious that Twitch was going to be coming to the system because UStream was going to PS4. Right. Yep. Like they drew their lines in the sand. Yep. Um, and Twitch support looked super seamless. It used that. Right in there. It used that thing, the snap, the. What did they call it? Yeah, the, the snap. The snap, snap thing, and where you can like your games on the left, on the right, you have your Twitch chat. You can chat to people. Right. Uh, they also had that, just like uploading your gameplay clips. Yeah. Uh, no idea how they're gonna do that without a share button. I'm super. <laughs> I'm super worried for them. No, yeah, because now you just speak it. That's oh, right. Xbox Share. Xbox Apple. So, yeah. So Titanfall. Let's talk about Titanfall. Let's talk about Titanfall. So, so response crap. game, it's been confirmed. We got the leak last, what, yesterday, the day before? No, a couple days back. A couple days yeah. ago. Uh, it looks like Call of Duty so hard. Like, it looks like, so well, it looks like Call of Duty the guys... in the Halo universe. It almost looks like, remember yeah. when they announced uh, uh, Halo... Um, ODST, uh -huh. where it was like, your Halo is a Halo game, but you're playing as a regular soldier. But it just ended up playing like a Halo game. Yeah. This almost looks like, no, seriously, you're just kind of a shock trooper running around, and they're yeah. a giant mech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My favorite part is how you can not only eject out of the mech when just it's right out of up, it, yeah. but you can pull people out of theirs and then toss them. That is so and cool. And in the clip, he, he ejected out and then landed on another mech <laughs> and started <laughs> fighting the mech, just going to town on it. <laughs> That's but, uh, so awesome. It yeah. definitely looked like all those details that we got about the game were. I in still fact am c that accurate. one. So one of the details in that leak was that it's going to be running on an enhanced source engine. That's the thing. That, See, I, I don't think. That's that's 
fucking weird. I don't know if I it's, believe that. I mean, I believe it because I think Halo or Half Life Three is right. Oh come more. on! It's you, gotta be. That's he, like. Did you like throw some bones did, onto the ground and yes, they made a I lambda did. symbol? It's just let that rumor it. die forever. No, I mean the <laughs> so the source that's gotta if be Source it, Engine it, Two. If it's there have been rumors for what five years that Source Engine Two was active development, but we've if, seen it. If this is on, if this There's is no indeed on source, source at all, it is not on enhanced Source or yeah, that's a new Source Engine. They're not putting their big next gen Xbox exclusive on Source One. Right. Mm -hmm. Totally. So Titanfall. Titanfall. Um, uh, Rise? You want to talk about Rise? Let's talk about that Rise a little bit. That was fucking brutal. Rise, <laughs> there was a lot of Rise next, something of Rome. Son of Rome. Son of Rome. There yeah. was a lot of stabbing dudes in the neck. So do you think? Do we think next stabbing is going to be this? This E3's uh, bow and arrow? There was a few neck stabs. Ooh, there were a couple <laughs> neck stabs. I mean, they were really brutal neck yeah. stabs. And again, <laughs> I, a game that I wholly expected to be a connect game, yeah. and there were button prompts all over the screen. It's like, press X to cut off this guy's head. Press X so to stab a neck. What, what press I think, X to stab another neck. Yeah, what I think was interesting was that was we got all those button prompts, but there also seemed to be like you are the on-field general, so I can totally see some connect voice control that, integration. That, and the character in Rise was kind of doing like weird shuffles around that to me looked like... Yeah. Lean, lean to your Maybe. left. Then he, then he Maybe. holds his sh oh, sh yell shield. I bet you could yell shields, and they hold their shields Maybe. up. Uh, uh, or yeah. you like there was that one scene where they're uh, attacking that tower. I can totally see like you going like that or something to throw a and, spear. Or no, that's how you signal, hey, bombard the fuck out of that tower. <laughs> that tower needs to die, <laughs> yeah. and I'm the only one who can do it. Which I I, I did. Well, if I got my hand on the controller, uh, no, that's uncomfortable. No, here's what I'm thinking. You're fighting. You're fighting. You look up and you go. And then it's almost yeah. like you're throwing a spear, except yeah. you're throwing a an, a, 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 mor a mortar strike a mortar? with a rock. With a rock. You're, <laughs> a rock. You're, uh, Speaking of calling Trebuchet. in a mortar strike, yeah. Dead Rising Three. Yeah. <laughs> Dead Rising Three. Really you're cool. playing as a Nick. Nate. Nick. One of the two. You're playing as an engineer. It looks like a, <laughs> like, an, like a a car guy. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get in. It looks open world. You can get in a car and just fucking go. Yeah. And run through, uh, you can craft anywhere, you can throw stuff really easily. Exclusive? And exclusive on, on Xbox, Xbox One. One? And, uh, and you can also, it's weird, because those games, like zombie games always have this problem with me, where it's like, they'll be like, all right, we're a zombie game, you're fighting zombies, you're fighting zombies, you have an artillery strike, and it's yeah. like, ho, ho, yeah, yeah. <laughs> whoa, just back up for a <laughs> where second. Where did I get that? Yeah, and then the character <laughs> hits a button, artillery strike comes in. No. Um, uh, I did like the, uh, it seemed to have some good, like, cinematic reveals where you run through a fence, the fence just destroys, and then you see, like, 10,000 Though it has, like, typical Capcom writing where it's like, boom, oh, shit! Yeah, and yeah, then he yeah, turns yeah. and runs in the opposite <laughs> direction. Oh, I wish that wouldn't have happened. <laughs> this, my day couldn't get any worse, <laughs> and then it did. But yeah, uh, so that looked, looked it, it didn't... That, to me, is a game that was very obviously a last-gen game that, like, a year and a half ago, they're like, let's just add some more polygons. No, like, totally. it didn't, like, Rise and and uh, Titans Fall, those are next-gen fucking games. Like, they are <laughs> all in on next-gen. And then you have Dead Rising, which still looked good, yeah, but it yeah. looked like a like I could play that game today on my PC. Uh, Project Spark. That was a little interesting, man. So I'm not, yeah. I'm not sure what this is. I don't it, remember what it was, but they, they released this exact thing like five years ago. Yeah, I mean, it definitely had a, a Milo-esque element to it, where it's yeah. like, this is a thing that we've been playing around it's, with. Because it's essentially Minecraft meets Little Big Planet. Yeah. Which yeah, I feel like they exactly released right, it, yeah. like I remember like a few years ago when the XNA was coming out, there was a game that let you make games. Mm -hmm. So this one, it's, the, it's that, except it's a lot bigger and fancier, and you can use smart glass, and you can yell at your Xbox. I mean, but it did look really cool when you were just, like, creating terrain to kind of, like, surf around, and uh, <laughs> somebody made the joke that he was earthbending. He was earthbending yeah. around yeah, and then, But then in the video, they showed, like, here's a bunch of levels people made already, and there was, like, an Angry Birds clone. People had made, like, yeah. crazy platformers. It was like a madness, it looked like. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, and it's I Windows mean, 8 game... also, I think. What's that? Windows 8 also. Oh, yeah. Yes. So that game just reeked of Peter Molyneux. Uh, obviously, he wasn't on no, it. No, he's too busy goddessing. That looks like a, uh, <laughs> a, a, a Beyond Good and Evil. Not Beyond Good and Evil. What's that Peter Molyneux game? Uh, black and white. Black and white. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Uh, Actually, not at all. Yeah. Nothing what like that. What is the creating? Anyway, we'll talk about it later. Um, so what else do we have? We saw a little bit more of a quantum break. Is that what We saw some quantum actual break? gameplay yeah. where it kind of looked L.A. noirish, where you're like investigating a crime scene that was frozen in time. But then I don't think it was actually a crime scene. I think it was just an explosion. Yeah, and then the, some, a woman was like running away from an explosion and she was frozen and then you pull her out of it and she's like let go of me and he's like I can't <laughs> and then another explosion went off and, and then, then he let go of her though but did, did he? You see, yeah when the explosion happened they weren't touching anymore well, so I was like okay well, I, think it's, I think maybe 
I don't know. I'm just, <laughs> I don't know I'm just really happy that Max Payne introduced the game. Right. Uh, <laughs> we also got the did Black Tusk game. Yeah, it was, it was a black tease. Yeah, yeah, it was did, definitely a tease. Did you see the article I wrote about it? No. It was just like Black Tusk games revealed, and we have no idea what it is. I mean, it looks it, like uh, Rainbow Six, kind of. It looks like I Rainbow gotta... Six with the main character from Prey 2 yeah. rappelling into a building and then shooting a gun that went through like the same animation as... When they in the trailer for uh, Metroid Other M, when it's mm-hmm. like I'm gonna shoot a gun, and then it's like let's zoom into the gun to see how guns work. <laughs> <Yeah>. Oh, look <laughs> how guns work! I'm gonna zoom back out. Boom! Is essentially what that whole trailer was. I was definitely was. not impressed by that trailer. I was expecting big things from that. Studio, that exact and that trailer. Like generic... See, here's the thing. That exact trailer with a game name at the end. I'm on board. Yeah. That trailer with. And here's the. We told you it was Black Tusk. See. Yeah. Yep. Feels kind of weak to me. A little yeah. weak. Um, oh, World of Tanks coming to the Xbox 360 yeah. this summer. Well, that excites me for no other reason than there is going to be uh, like there is this push now for free to play, right. and like Definitely. that's awesome if you if you like because I I had free games when I was a kid. Like I would have loved that when I couldn't actually afford to buy one, you know? Yeah. And so and that game's awesome. It's, it's cool. really fun. And, and recently, the developers kind of admitted that they screwed up the microtransaction system and made the emphasis too much on pay to win. They yeah. recently, within the last two or three weeks, said that they were revamping their microtransaction system to move far away from that. Mm-hmm. Probably because Microsoft threw a bunch of money at them and said, hey, yeah. make this a real game when it comes to our console. Yeah, right. Definitely. And 15 on 15 battles, I think they said. Yep. They, did, they did say that. Um, what else is there? Well, there was, aside from the crazy opening of the conference, yeah. Metal Gear. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh. There was a Metal Gear there. That's true. Uh, so, Peace Walker is coming to next gen. Not Peace Walker. <laughs> Peace Walker. Phantom. Phantom. Pa- what the fuck is the name of this game? <laughs> I don't know. Do we even Metal Gear Solid 5. Metal Gear Solid 5. Uh, what, what, what was the name Insert of Snake here. in this? I already forgot. Punish, Punish Snake. Punish Snake, which is like, all right, thanks. He's in again. Afghanistan. And then he's riding uh, horses. He goes from a, a, a horse to a tank in like no time. And I and I loved the uh, when he's riding the horse and he slides down the saddle a little and hangs to the side. It's like new modes of stealth. Yeah, it was the trailer. Very much Indiana Jones. Like, yeah, the, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. I'm pretty sure that scene came exactly. They wanted. They really wanted to emphasize the open worldness. So they just. Fa- if you didn't see the trailer, they just fast forwarded through him just kind of wandering yeah. and yeah. hiding from stuff and driving a car. First Looks person. super nice. Yeah, sure does. Uh, I'm a little concerned that the open world will feel too. Empty. Empty. I feel like, like yeah. I'm, I'm nervous that it's only going to exist for you to walk through it and do nothing else, really. Except, except for occasionally Except for here's where people. your mission is. Yeah. You know, so I'm hoping that it's more interesting. But I, I, I guess it's hard to tell from a brief trailer. It is. Yeah. Uh, I know a game you're excited for. What Dark game? Souls 2 on I am. Xbox One. Absolutely. It's on Xbox One. Uh, no, 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 no. They just no? said... No, well, I don't wasn't think that they part stated. of the Xbox One presentation? No. no. It wasn't? No. They were just saying it's uh, coming out in March 2014. Oh, I thought there was a point during the It was before the point. Yeah, it was, was before that. Uh, well, but no, is- I, I'm still really excited for it. And it, I mean, that trailer looks exactly like the other Dark Souls 2 trailers that have come out so far, which yeah. is brief clips of you fighting with really cool weapons, dual wielding weapons, which mm-hmm. is awesome, and then you dying. Also, and, and it's like, and then, kind of, that's the emphasis so it's of like, the game. Right, you got Dark Souls correct. <laughs> also, yep, and then somebody uh-huh. from Microsoft came out and he's like, you guys think we've been ignoring indies. But indies are important to us. Here's Minecraft. Here's Minecraft. Here's Minecraft. Notch has said so many times, like, Mojang is not an indie developer. Please stop calling us that. We, we are worth yeah. billions of, of dollars. So Minecraft Xbox One Edition is going to be Minecraft with bigger maps bigger. and well, more and I, multiplayer and think, Yeah, and that's an important point, too, because the uh, Xbox 360's hardware is a little bit too limiting for the scope of Minecraft on the PC. You know, mm-hmm. So it's like you'll finally have like the full... This is the full Minecraft. Right. Yeah. Uh, we also got that Insomniac game. Uh, Ted Price yes. came out. Sunset, Sunset Overdrive. Overdrive. Which yeah. I looks way, it looks way better than it's going to look soon. It's, well, it's really like colorful. I, I, yeah, and I feel like this is the same situation we were in last. Uh, whenever the E3 was that they showed the Overstrike, Overstrike trailer, and we're like, uh-huh. that game looks amazing. Yeah. And then it was now it's fused. You know what game it reminded me of? Pain. Uh, it was like an uh, PSN the PSN title. launch title yeah, where yeah, you yeah. just launched people. Yeah, it kind of had like that. Super it looks more, for me. It looked more like Brink. Penis. Remember Brink? Oh uh, yeah. yeah, parkouring around a big city and shooting stuff. So it looks and there were like na- it looked like there's a heavy multiplayer emphasis because there were names floating above people's heads. Yeah, um, we don't know much about it, but. Definitely had a vibrant color palette. Oh, that yeah. was probably one of the, <laughs> the most visually interesting games. I just, I yeah. I have very little faith in Insomniac to move forward with a stylish game after they yeah. had a, a, they made one and then didn't. Yeah. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. I haven't given up hope just yet. So $499. Right. I mean, that's... 
That's so, yeah. fine with me. Yeah. I feel okay with that. I'm trying to think. Is there anything else we missed about the Xbox One? I mean, mm. if we did, you can check our website. You sure could. Just you're loaded with news. definitely going to have more E3 information coming out, like, basically right now. Yeah. Oh, right oh now, there was a right uh, uh, Can New Connect Sports announced right before the show. I... If, if that's out. your thing. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it for Radar, uh, Radar Reacts. But there are three more press conferences today. Today. And there's one tomorrow. And we're going to be doing, we're going to be right in this exact spot for all of them. Yep. So be sure to come back for those and check out all the live streams on gamesradar.com, all the articles. We have so much planned for the next few years. Yeah. <laughs> so be sure to stay tuned and come back.